What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? My peeps, my peoples, we are in the building, peep squad. Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video y'all let's get into it let's talk about the real housewives of atlanta let's talk about tyrone gillum and also sheree whitfield he recently done a interview basically to sit down and chop it up to talk about the false narrative that has been painted by sheree whitfield and also bravo and the network he said he needed an agreement he was on federal home confinement so everything he did had to be approved him going to the gym had to be approved him going to church had to be approved everything had to be approved there's no such thing as him basically leaving the halfway house and going to film somewhere with Sheree without it being approved because they would have threw him back in the threw him back in jail so that's why he got a cis and deceased letter sent to bravo because painting the narrative that he was supposed to show up and he was supposed to meet sheree you know for lunch and things of that nature he could have got sent back to prison and he was not going to do that and basically he feels like sheree put him out there like that and she didn't care about his well-being or his freedom so that's why he in the relationship with sheree because he was not liking the way that she was moving out here in these streets point blank period but i know he done heard that she has been going viral and she is dating somebody that got body yaddy yaddy like she does so in any event i know he heard about martel holt okay so in any event He's basically giving, you know, the lowdown on the situation between him and Sheree and how it all fell apart. And he sits down with the Jasmine brand and basically talks about the whole situation with Sheree and Real Housewives of Atlanta. That he was on federal home confinement and all his activities had to be approved and he needed an agreement with the network and with Bravo that he was working for them. And that would basically would take some time to be approved so Sheree would have to submit the information and she would have to get it from Bravo Bravo would have to look at it then they would have to sign an agreement and then therefore he was submitted to you know the feds and basically they would say no or yes to the situation but in any event that did not happen he said Sheree called him and the wee hours of the morning and say I'm coming down to see you and he's thinking that Sheree is coming down to see him like she usually does and she shows up to the um halfway house or the home confinement fbi or feds place that he was living okay so in any event it seems like he wanted to basically get permission and he also wanted a paycheck because he did state that he was a businessman and so therefore if he was going to be shown on tv he wanted some ducats he didn't say he wanted some ducats but i'm assuming when he threw businessman agreement and contract together while he was interviewing and talking about he needed paperwork to be on tv okay so y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation and he said he was not going back to prison at all and he says he never stood up sheree sheree knew where he lived at sheree knew where he rest his head at because as you guys know there have been talk on the real housewives of atlanta from candy burris that maybe tyrone was with another woman and that's why he couldn't come through and um he's saying that he was at his home confinement location and she could have showed up and she could have showed his living condition she could have showed how he lives and how you know a very hostile environment that he was living in and basically could have displayed that to the public and he was okay with all that but he said he's he thought that Sheree was coming to you know to the house you know to where he's confined at and be there and plus he says he has a curfew he just can't travel and go anywhere that's just not the situation and Sheree understood that okay so y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation he said he wasn't 
even prepared for Sheree to even meet up at a luncheon because they never even talked about a luncheon. She calls him and say, hey, I'm in Philly, I'm in town, come, and she's coming through to come see him. So in any event, he said if Sheree really wanted him on camera, if Sheree really wanted to film with him, if Sheree really wanted to be there, you know, she could have just pulled up to his location with the cameras and it would have been good, okay? So y'all tell me what y'all think about that situation. I was like, Lord, okay. So basically he's calling Sheree Bluff and saying that there was a narrative created that he stood up Sheree and he left her hanging. He just got out of prison and now he's in home confinement at a halfway house and he's standing her up and it's a possibility he could be with somebody else. And he basically saying that's not the case at all. He said a lot of men in prison, you know, sometimes, have these women that they are dating while they are in prison as soon as they get out they do things to you know disappoint the woman let the woman down and he said that was not the case he was not trying to do that to her at all and he just realized that she did not have his best interest so he wanted to move forward and he basically stopped talking to Sheree he said they did have a conversation afterwards but there's really no need for there was really no need for a conversation because she already knew the restrictions that he had he just couldn't show up and film and sit outside a restaurant at a different location without being locked up because everything needed to be approved and I was like, Lord, have mercy. So he's saying that they set that whole scene up, point blank, period, because they knew he wasn't going to come through. So he said shortly after, you know, that incident took place, he sent a cease and desist letter to, you know, Bravo basically stopped saying that he stood her up. He was supposed to show up because that's an attempt that he's basically about to break the rules and he had no intent of breaking any rules at all. And it seems like in this interview with the Jasmine brand that he is still, you know, in home confinement or he's still in a halfway house because he said the place that I was staying at before was horrible and that would have been a good place to film and show the world but he said the new location that he's staying at you know it's a little bit better but he also just said his ankle monitoring bracelet was just taken off so he's still under the feds guidelines i guess so in any event you guys let me know what you think about this situation and he said that bravo and charade created the narrative that he stood her up he said there's no way i could stand her up because i couldn't go so y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation and you know it took him a long time to speak on this situation actually give cl a clarity to the situation now is it because Sheree's out here dating you know mr bodybuilder mr i'm in shape from love and marriage huntsville so you guys let me know what you think about that situation what y'all think about tyrone y'all think tyrone's telling the truth or is he not so let me know peace